Today, I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to write a SMART goal. Hi, my name is Kath from kathkyle.com and I help entrepreneurs to set goals that they actually achieve. And I've written a whole book about it called Stamp Goals. So let's get started. So today I'm going to explain exactly what a SMART goal is how it can benefit you. And I'm going to walk you through the process of actually creating a SMART goal step-by-step step with examples. So let's start with the definition of a SMART goal. So a SMART goal is a set of criteria that stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. It ensures that your goal is carefully laid out, focused and significant all the while remaining within the realms of possibility and is motivated by a looming deadline. So what are the five elements of SMART goal? They can be broken down as follows. One, specific. Your goal needs to be clear and focused. Being specific about your goal cannot be overemphasized. When you are specific about your goal, it gives you the motivation to keep going with it. When you are specific about your goal, it gives you all the motivation you need to keep focused on it. Basically, specific goals answer the following questions. What is it I want to achieve? Why is it important to me? Who will be involved in this? Where should this begin? Where should it take place? What skills do I need to have? Once you've figured out exactly what you want, then you can move on to the next step in the process, measurable. You need to be able to know whether you've actually achieved your goals and you won't know if you've achieved your goals unless you can measure your goals. So your goal needs to answer questions like how much and how many. So you can easily manage your time, your resources and everything that you need to achieve your goal. For example, Specify the amount of revenue that you are aiming to get so that you can visualize how much effort and time you'll need to achieve it. Achievable. The most important thing about a goal is that you actually achieve it. So we need to set a goal that you think is actually going to be achievable for you. And it doesn't hurt to dream big, but if you set smaller, more achievable goals, then you'll eventually hit the bigger goal that you want to hit. For example, so many entrepreneurs set a goal to hit six figures or seven figures and they've not actually hit $100 yet. So aim at something that you think is achievable for you right now. Relevant. Sometimes we get swayed by ambitions that are not totally aligned with our businesses and our objectives and our life vision. So no wonder we end up failing at the goals. A relevant goal is one that can answer the following questions. Does it seem necessary? What will I gain from it? Does it suit my current needs? Time bound. What makes a goal highly effective is when you set it within a prescribed time frame. If you don't set a specific date for when your goal should be accomplished, you're likely to lose focus and eventually give up before you have completed it. When you set deadlines, it really motivates you to keep going until you've actually achieved the goal. It puts a lot of healthy pressure on you to actually achieve the goal. So a time bound goal is one that answers the question of when will I achieve this? So what are some of the benefits of SMART goals? They give you a sense of purpose. They actually motivate you when you wake up every day feeling energized and you just want to start working towards your success. It's very difficult to get motivated when your goals are still in your head and that's why you need to write them down so you feel compelled to fulfill them. Smart goals inspire you to use your time more wisely. Because your goals are bound to a specific time frame, you become more obligated to work hard before the deadline catches up on you. Smart goals help you to, to develop skills that you don't already have. You are likely to develop really useful skills that you need to be able to accomplish the goal, such as critical thinking, time management, negotiating skills, and so many more. They urge you to take action. When you actually write down your goal on a piece of paper, it really motivates you to take action because it feels like it needs to get done because it's written down. So you've got a sense of commitment to the goal. They help you track your process and plot your success. Smart goals help you to see how far you need to go to achieve your success. They are definitive. 
They only reveal what you actually need to work on, which helps you become more motivated. So now I'm going to show you how to write a SMART goal. To tackle the specific aspects of SMART, make sure you answer the first five W's of your goal. What, why, who, which, and where. The measurable aspect must then address the amount of anything that will be used in the fulfillment of your goal and the amount that will be gained from it. Try answering questions of how much and how many. Check if your goal is achievable by factoring in your available resources, skills and current situations. Make sure your goal is relevant by considering its alignment with your vision, your skills, your knowledge. It should then answer yes to the question is it worthwhile? Finally, make it time bound by setting a target date of completion. Create a time frame that you must stick to until you achieve your goals. So how to write SMART goals for business? Start by identifying the specific goal that you're aiming for. If you're aiming to boost sales, identify the exact technique that you're planning to use. Give a measure to your goal by naming the amount that you're planning to hit. For example, you're aiming to hit your first six-figure sales or $100,000 as a result of a desired marketing technique. The next step is to have a reality check by gauging is it achievable. Basically, can you achieve that amount by focusing on your specific marketing technique that increases sales? Then assess whether or not it's relevant to your overall business plan. Does it give the business an edge over its competitors and then it is a worthwhile goal? Set the time frame of your goal completion. The six-figure income must materialize in the next six months, say, or you can stretch it to a further to a year until you hit the mark. But I really like to uh, set goals that are three months long or lower because this really helps to keep you focused. So here are some examples of SMART goals. Here are some short-term SMART goal examples. I aim to learn the industry's best practices by participating in business conventions in August and investing my free time during the weekends towards reading case studies. I aim to do a collaborative process with a third-party service provider by next quarter with a budget of $100,000 to help boost mutual sales for the rest of the year. I aim to save $50,000 from getting rid of unnecessary equipment and manpower by the end of the second quarter. I aim to increase website traffic by 20% in the next three months through optimizing content and increasing my profile, which will eventually lead to more sales for the business. And here are some long-term SMART goal examples. I aim to increase my revenue up to $50,000 a month through marketing that will take up to six months using Instagram stories for making viral video clips. I want to improve our client retention at the end of the year by offering a loyalty program that collects $50 a month and allows customers to buy products at half the original price. I want to modernize our business operations by next year by gradually introducing new equipment to the production department with a budget of $150,000 and offering equipment training to employees. I want my business debts amounting to $20,000 to be paid off by the end of the 30th month through a debt consolidation program from my bank and setting aside 30% of mo monthly revenues as payment. So leave a comment below and let me know what your SMART goal is that you're working towards. And the SMART goals, I like to think of them, even though I have used examples for business, as I like to prefer to use SMART goals for a work, for a job, as an employee. But I feel like they don't really help you to dream big when it comes to running your own business. And that's why I developed my own goal setting framework called Stamp Goals. And I have some other videos and I'll leave a link below letting you know where you can find out more about Stamp Goals, which are more appropriate for business because it really helps you to live your purpose. So I also have a free gift for you. So now you've got everything that you need to get your mind in the right place for success with your goals. You might be looking for the right to to set your goals and actually achieve them and I have a free gift for you that you are going to love. For a limited time only I am giving away the exact planner that I use to set goals for one of my six figure blogs. So I'll leave a link to that below. So in conclusion if you're ready to take your business to the next level you should start learning how to write a smart goal so you can track your progress. 
Not only will it serve as your compass in this crazy world of entrepreneurship, but it will also inspire you to live life with purpose and maintain a hunger for accomplishing things. And I really hope that through this post, you'll soon be hitting your goal targets one after another at your most desired pace. And goal setting is a massive passion of mine and I have many more videos to help you reach your goal. So stick around and I will show you what else I have to offer. So I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave a link, leave a comment below letting me know what your SMART goals are.